Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Yulaine. I'm the owner of Love Basket Express. Okay, guys, so I just want to give you guys some tips on shrink wrapping. Um, you want to make sure that once your basket is sealed, that it is standing at a direct angle of where it needs to be. Um, and what I mean by that is, um, I'm going to show you a basket that I'm about to donate. This is an auction basket that I'm actually donating to a local firefighter department. Um, I know y'all like, this is a school bus, it's not a, it's not a fire truck. Yeah, I couldn't find a fire truck that I could utilize to make this work. However, I did have some school buses. Well, I have one left um, from when I purchased these a couple years ago. I used them for Halloween baskets and um, I sold them at a fall festival. Um, but anyway, because this school bus does not have a complete large hole at the top, um, some of the items are sitting on the back piece of the school bus. So therefore, and as you can see what I'm talking about, see they're sitting on top of the school bus right here, um, on the back part. So with that said, um, the basket end up doing like a lean like this. Um, and the way to fix that is it's not to take a whole bunch of tape and start pulling stuff forward. The best way to fix it, um, just as long as it's not tipping over whatever, if it's just got a small, small lean, once you put your bag, you slowly put your bag over it. Um, and then, um, I told you guys, when I do shrink wrap, um, if my basket is not tall enough, before I put it over the basket, I go ahead and I start with the first crease from unfolding, you know how they come folded? I unfold the first crease and I start there and I cut that piece off. And then once I cut that piece off, I'll put it over the basket and see if it's the correct fit. Once I cut that piece off, it fit this perfectly from top to bottom. Um, and I only had a little bit left to tuck up under the bottom, as you can see. So by doing that, it gave it a great fit once it came on and I didn't have like a whole bunch of access um bag up under there and getting all bulked up and stuff when you heat seal it so you want to try to make sure it's a smooth bottom that's first tip second tip you want to try to make sure you use the right size bag um and i have another video talking about that um and then third is to fix any leaning or whatever that may be going on within the basket um this is the tip i have for you so as you can see the items are sitting up um, and now at first they were doing like this so all these items were going like this and that's because the weight some of most of the weight of the basket is in these pack these cookies um, so well, before I get into that detail always make sure you have something hard on the outside of the basket and all your soft items in the inside um, and what I mean by soft items as you can see there's a bag of caramel popcorn in the inside you don't want to put that on the outside because what it'll do when the shrink wrap gets it'll shrink it down like that the last thing you want is bulkiness in bags on the corners of your gift you want it to stay even all the way across and then you want something hard and solid which i know this cheese is not that solid but you want something solid on the outside to make it come together you know and stand together nice and tall and uh even so that's my tip on that now to fix the leaning okay so once i have everything closed up i've already taped up the bottom once i have that done basically you want to do is you want to use one of your hands you got your heat gun blow dryer whatever you use in one hand and then you want to use your other hand for guidance so what i did was i took my hand and i put it up the back and i leaned it forward where i wanted it to be so i'm holding it with my hand to make sure it's up forward now mind you, the bag is loose right now holding up make sure it's leaning forward and what i want to do is i want to take the heat gun and i want to start at the bottom and as you start at the bottom hence it's called a shrink bag it begins to shrink and what it does is if you do the front where you're trying to get it to go whichever way so say for instance leaning forward you want to do the back so i did the front where it's where i'm trying to get it to go once you heat seal this part down here it begins to gravitate the items towards the front now you don't want to heat seal all the way you just want to heat seal enough for the items to start moving to where you want them to be then you want to stop there and then you want to basically take your heat gun and just start going around the whole bottom of the basket to heat seal everything around okay now once you heat seal everything around 
then you'll be able to start working your way up to the top to heat seal in the rest of the basket so that everything falls into place. So as you can see, we have a nice smooth finish here because we made sure that we set our items up by heat sealing the front of the bag to pull them forward so that they can be nice and even. Okay, that's my tip that I learned as I was doing this basket because I was like, oh my God, I don't like stuff leaning when I get done with it because I've taken I've taken plenty of baskets apart if they did not go the direction I needed them to go I don't like leaning backwards forwards sideways I don't, don't I don't like that I want to try to get as even as I possibly can so that when I put my bow up here I'll put in preference put my bow right here and then I'll have like you know the rest of it coming flowing or whatever how I want to do it not really sure I want a bow yet um, this is not due until September the 10th but I have I wanted to go ahead and put it together um, and then all I have to do is put the bow on it and deliver it. Um, so that's my tip for shrink wrapping. I hope it helps. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, I love best express, uh, at gmail.com. Um, you can message me on Facebook at love best express. You can message me on Instagram at love best express. Um, pretty much love basket express everything. <laughs> um, so yeah. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and um, also hit the subscribe button to, so you'll be notified of the next video that I have uploaded. Thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.